When I met Marilyn, it was back in 1954. She came to New York with Billy Wilder. They were going to do location shooting for the film Seven Year Itch. And she wasn't quite yet a big star, but she was on her way. And when I saw a publicity picture of her in the local newspaper, I said to my editor, you know, this girl's fantastic. She's going to be a big star someday. I want to do a big story on her. He said, what's your angle? I said, well, they're here for a few days, and they're going to be shooting. And uh, I'd like to show her when she's on, not on camera, but off camera, and talk to her about her life and do something a little different. He said, do you think you can do it? I said, I'm sure I can. I have this feeling about this girl. He said, well, go ahead, do it. Good luck. And that's how we started our friendship, way back in 1954. I went to uh, this brownstone house on 61st Street in uh, Manhattan. And uh, the publicity people knew I were coming. And I promised that uh, I would do this and do a story that would be quite interesting for her and for the film. And I told him not to say anything until I arrived. And when I did, she was leaning out the window. So I walked up the steps in the brownstone. And uh, she looked very interesting from her rear. <laughs> so I decided, well, maybe this might be the first shot of Marilyn. So I start shooting with my camera. Click, 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 click. And I guess the sound of the camera shutter startled her. She turned around and she looked at me and she said, uh, hey, I'll take a dozen of those. And that was the beginning of our friendship. We became good friends. I don't know what happened, but you know, with some people you just have it and others you don't. And with us, we just clicked. So uh, our friendship lasted until her last days. And I keep her in my heart forever because she was a wonderful person and bless her and may she rest in peace. <laughs> so many things happen. On this last picture of Marilyn, it was cold and she said, George, can we stop? And I said, this is the last picture, I promise you. She said, okay. So she puckered up her lips she looked me straight in the eye, and she said, this is just for you. And she blew a kiss to me. And it was a great thrilling feeling as I clicked the shutter. And I remember that day forever and ever. A wonderful girl to work with, and I loved her with all my heart.